Hi everyone, Karen here, and thank you for joining me. Today I've been exploring the capabilities of my X-Tool F1 laser, and I've been doing some engraving on metal. One of the features of the F1 is that it has two kinds of laser built in. It has a blue light diode, which is great for cutting and engraving things like wood, MDF, slate, leather, organic materials, and so on. It also has an infrared laser that works well on metals, stone, and other inorganic materials. Stone and other inorganic materials. Now, I've had an X-Tool D1 laser, which has a blue light laser, for a few months now, and I've had a lot of fun playing with it. But this is the first time that I've had access to an infrared laser, so I've been keen to try it out. I belong to a few F1 user groups on social media, and in one of them, someone asked a question about engraving a waveform. Now, that was something that I'd never thought of doing. And I do have a sound file that is quite precious to me, so I'm going to try engraving it onto a stainless steel pendant. I have a copy of the file on my iPhone, so first of all I'm going to airdrop it to my MacBook. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go to this website, and I will put a link in the description box below. And then I'm going to scroll down to Other Tools, and click on Waveform Image. Next, I'm going to find the file and upload it. And once it's loaded, I just click the download button and save it to my computer as a PNG file. Next, I'm opening Xtool Creative Space, which is free, and I'm going to import that image. So all I do is locate where the file is saved and click Open. I want to edit the file a bit so that it fits onto the pendant, which is 40 millimeters long and nine millimeters wide. So I'm clicking on Edit Image and I'm gonna use the eraser tool to get rid of the bits that I don't want. I want to make the waveform a bit longer, but no wider. So I'm clicking on the lock icon so that I can stretch it out a bit. And then I'm going to centre it on the screen. At present, it's in an image file format, and I could just go ahead and engrave it as it is. However, just to find out how, I'm going to make a vector file. I use Trace image, and then once it's traced, I can delete the original. I'm going to center the trace and set it to engrave. Infrared laser with a power of 100%. Speed of 100. Three passes. and 200 lines per centimeter. Next, I'm gonna check the position by hitting framing. And once I'm happy that everything is the way that I want it, I hit start in XCS. And then once it's processed, I hit start again and press the button on the right-hand side of the F1 and stand back while it does its thing. It took me a few attempts to get the result I want. I varied the speed and I varied the power and that's okay. I'm learning, but now I've made a note of the settings that worked well for me. And here's the final result. And that's it for this time. Uh, thank you very, very much for staying with me. And I hope that I'll see you again soon. But for now, once again, thank you very much and goodbye.